are everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pixel Pirate. I'm your host Ripped Rick and today we actually have some pretty cool plans. Now there has been an update to Codemasters uh, Pirates if you guys didn't know. So this is what we're going to be tinkering around with today. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, collect some base resources. Now some new things have been added. We obviously have our slag iron here so we're going to go ahead and take that and bring it right into here and make a ton of slag iron plates because I have a feeling that we're going to need a ton today. Uh, we're also going to start the, the cooling of those because we need them to be cooled down in order to uh, to make it out. And let's go ahead and refill that bucket right away so that uh, it, will, it will do it a little bit more quickly. Uh, now the next ingredients we need to grab are fence posts. Fence posts are pretty important. Uh, I believe we have some string here quite a bit actually. What else do we have? Ooh, some more string. That is good. Oh, and, and we're going to need our bone meal today and we're going to need our sugar and we're going to need actually more sugar than that. I think we're going to need, yeah, we're going to need seven pieces of sugar and seven pieces of bone meal uh, for what we are doing. Oh, there's sugar cane right here. I apologize. So four pieces of that. I think that will give us the correct amount. Let's go ahead and make sugar cane and one more piece of bone meal. Now, I added the mod that allows us to turn um, zombie flesh into leather. But in order to do that, I added the harder version of the mod where you need to add this. Uh, obviously, zombie flesh and then sugar and then bone meal so that you have purified flesh. Purified flesh. I apologize about that. Um, yeah, so once you have the purified flesh, then you can go ahead and cook it in, in your smeltery. Now, I think we have, um, hmm, let's go grab some coal, I apologize. I thought we had some coal with us. There it is, uh, four pieces will do. So we're going to go ahead and let that cook into leather, because I'm sure we're going to need to use that today as well. Now, with this, um, this string, we're going to go ahead and make it all into wool, because that's what we will be using it for today. Uh, 13 pieces of wool is really not that many, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I kind of wish we had more, but but we'll, we'll work with it, I believe. I think we'll be okay with it. Now, let's go ahead and grab one more thing. I apologize about keeping turning around. We need iron, so let's go downstairs and grab some iron and get straight from our Tinker's Construct area, because that's where we're, we're holding most of it, I believe. Now, do we have some smelted already? We do. Okay, so we'll, we'll keep this amount for now, and then if we need more, we'll can always grab more. Uh, now, the final ingredient is wood. We need plenty of it. Uh, we only have 27 pieces, and we're going to need logs. And I think we have. We did a great, great job getting a hold of some wood last time, so that's very nice. Now, this should be almost fully cooled. Ooh, looks like we may need one more bucket of water. And there we go. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab some iron plates. Now the first thing we're going to need to create are our gears. Now gears are created by doing this pattern right here. Uh, you get 16 gears, so we're going to need 32 I think we're going to start off with. And then if we need more, we can always make more. Um, but yeah, so so there we go. Now we have 32 gears. Very nice. Now let's go ahead and create our next block, which is the gearbox. Now the gearbox is made with a simple crafting recipe of two pieces of wood here. Um... What else? We need our two iron ingots across the top. We need these guys in the corners and that are in the, on the sides like that. And then we need to grab go over here and grab our rope. Remember, we made an absolutely ton of rope uh, a little while back with uh, our help with uh, from Moskivi. So let's go ahead and grab our gearbox. Now we're gonna need a few of these now that I think about it. So why don't we make? One, two, three, four, five. We'll make six of them, I think. Or, or we'll make five, and we'll, we'll call it five is, is a good number. So we're going to go around five times here. Uh, actually, we could just uh, even them out like this, and this will be a little bit faster. And then we'll grab these guys here. And then we'll just make that. Okay, now that will give us the right amount. There's five of... Uh, oh, iron does not go there, actually. We're going to need to grab some more iron. Ooh. Wow, this is going to be expensive, but this will be worth it, I hope. Uh, let's go ahead and add five of these here, and then five rope right down the middle. Now, let's go grab uh, some more iron straight out of the smeltery. If we don't have some in there, we can always drop some in and come back in a second. But I think we have quite a bit, right? Yeah, there we go. There's our molten iron. So let's go ahead and just pour that out and wait on it to become a block. Um, so what we're basically doing is we're going to be setting up a windmill system today, if you guys wanted to know. Uh, it's, it's a very, very cool system. And like I said, it's something that was just added to Codemasters Pirates, and honestly, it, it is it is a very cool idea. It's it's a play on like power from other mod packs, but instead of using like things that um, things things that 
are way too confusing. It's very simplistic. Uh, the power sources and everything. It's, it's really, really cool, like I was saying. Okay, so now we, uh, we have a little bit more iron. Let's go ahead and create our six gearboxes. Uh, there we go. Now we have eight gears left. We may need more now that I look at that number, unfortunately. But that's going to be okay. Uh, our next thing we need to build is our torque shafts. Now, torque shafts are built with wood along each side like this, and then a gear in the middle, uh, and like that, right? But are we going to need 24? Probably. I'm not going to lie. So we're going to need to uh, take a little bit more of these guys and sprinkle these in just like that. And boom, now we have 24 gear shafts. I know this is a lot of materials, but trust me when I say it'll be worth it. It's going to be pretty cool. Now, the next thing we're going to need is our windmill block. We're going to need three gears right down the center. We are going to need two iron ingots across the top here and here. And finally, we're going to need wood here and here. There we go. And now we have our windmill block. Now, I know this is a lot. It's, it's been a lot so far, but trust me, uh, this these are what we need. These are the base components. That's basically all we need. Like I said, we grabbed fence for a reason, and we grabbed wool for a reason, but we'll be able to use those here in a minute. Um, what else are we going to need to grab? We are going to need to make some bellows. Now, bellows are a pretty interesting crafting recipe. They only require... Uh, we're going to make two of them. So they only require two iron plates on this side, and then we have to go get our... Freshly cooked, hopefully, leather. Awesome. So now we have a way to get leather from the zombies, which is very nice to do. Uh, let's go ahead and... Ooh, I'm, I keep going in the wrong thing. There we go. And now we have it spread evenly. We're going to need two ropes. And finally, we need some sticks. Ooh, we don't have sticks in our inventory. That's all right. We can just make some right here. Uh, and then we're going to need eight sticks, I believe. So let's go ahead and grab that. And perfect. Now we'll just go ahead and drop these guys into here. Split them up, and there are our bellows. Now, we do need to make some more gears now that I look at the numbers of how many gears we have. Uh, I was just doing a quick check there to see if we had any more uh, slag iron going or anything like that. It doesn't look like we do, so let's go ahead and, and heat these guys back up and pour another, another uh, set of iron uh, or another iron block. Let's go ahead and... Uh, first of all, check that there is enough iron in there. There isn't. That's why we wanted to check. And uh, we'll grab 17. We'll just put this in there for a second. And boom. There we go. Now those are heating back up. We'll take this glowstone back. And we will empty out our inventory a little bit so we can do some work around the house here. Now it is becoming nighttime, so we are going to have to sleep here very soon. But before we do, like I said, I, I want to... Um, I want to finish up what we're doing inside the house before we even go. I have to go outside. Uh, our food looks actually very good. My inventory is a little bit jumbled because I ended up needing to. Uh, I ended up pressing R on accident. If you don't know, we have inventory tweaks, like I said. So if I press R, it reorganizes everything. So uh, that's why that's why we're a little bit of a mess. We'll leave the string and the leather here, and then we need the fence to work on right now. Um, the wood is nice to have, and then we'll also get rid of our cobble in our handy dandy barrel uh and then what else we need to get rid of the nether stuff there we go uh crafting table can stay with us for now flint and steel can stay with us for now uh, i think that's about it i think i think we're all pretty much set to go here um we have our base blocks we have our wool i wish we had some more wool you know what while we wait for that iron to smelt uh let's go ahead and sleep and then we'll run outside in the back and we'll we'll take down our flax stuff and we'll regrow it um, in order to have some more wool because I, I, I have a very strong feeling that we're going to need quite a bit more, especially for what we're trying to do with these windmills. Remember, windmills are made out of very large canvas, if you can picture one in your head right now. Um, yeah, so we, we are going to need it. We're only going to take off the top layers or try to only take off the top layers to get some. Actually, you know what? Let's just go for it. Yeah, uh, because why not? Uh, there we go. And awesome. Now we actually have something going. Uh, we'll let these guys regrow in here real quick. I know replanting is kind of an annoying process, but like I said, it's it's it needs to be done. I mean, if we're going to enjoy the fruits of our labor, uh, we have to have the labor. Uh, so let's go ahead and put these flax seeds away. Let's see how much string we got. Holy crap! 64 plus another 35. We should be okay on wool now, hopefully. Uh, oop, my bad. There we go. And one more time here. Nice. Now, uh, hopefully that iron uh, is all cooked so we can pour it down here in our smeltery. 
Boom, pouring, nice. Let's go ahead and eat up a little bit here. And we'll wait for this to completely fill and cool. And there we go, that didn't take too long. Let's go ahead and turn it back into iron and hopefully turn it back into slag iron so that we can make more pieces here. Now, uh, that's what I thought. Okay, so we'll, we'll do a couple more pieces of slag iron. Let's go ahead and take this out uh, and change it into our slag iron plates and we'll recool it just as we have been doing uh, lately. Let's go ahead and grab another bucket of water here. Now, I know that uh, it seems like the buckets and things are very resource intensive, and they are, to be honest, but that's what we're fixing right now. I promise, I promise you that. So, let's go ahead and, yeah, that, that looks awesome. Now, we need to do a little bit of remodeling. Uh, not, not like complete overhaul of the house but uh, a little a little platform will do so let's go ahead and head upstairs i apologize over here and uh we're gonna go towards the back of the house now i'm sure everybody knows what a windmill looks like um it's not too hard to to conceptualize or think of one in your head but the one we're gonna be building is gonna be a little bit different i can i can promise you that much first of all we're gonna want to go ahead and line it up here a little bit now i believe if i dig here we are yes we are right next to this this is where we want to be awesome that can stay open now okay so yeah let's go ahead and go back upstairs now that we fell down um, we don't want to pull up because we want to use as much wood or as little bit of this wood as possible so that our platform's a little bit larger once we get to the top and here we go and outside to the back now let's go ahead and make ourselves a platform here is where the shaft is going to be coming down so uh, right about here should be good and now here and we're gonna like I said we're just gonna make a little platform here now I think I had 25 blocks if I'm not mistaken or about 25 uh, planks of wood so we should be okay to do a five by five which would be one more out this way and then no wrong oh do we have a oh, we don't have an axe we're gonna have to take care of this nice and slow cool Thanks for wasting our time. There we go. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then finally, we need these two pieces. Unfortunately, we got to punch these away too. Uh, right back to square one, I guess, huh? That's no big deal though. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna make it look good here in a second. Let's go and make this jump ready. Huh! Nice. Okay, so we are short one block still, but that'll be fine. I'm sure we can grab one downstairs. Uh, but for the time being, let's go ahead and grab um, some fence. Now, <clears throat> now normally um, we would obviously need need needed to look a lot a lot more like a, a windmill. But this this I believe will look just fine. Um, it is going to be a platform. It's it, it'll look a little bit awkward at first, but then once you see what I'm going for with it. Uh, Hopefully you will you will understand a little bit more of what I'm go what I'm going for. Um, let's go ahead and grab that. I don't really like this, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and grab uh, grab some more wood because it looks like we're gonna need it. Uh, please don't do much damage. There we go. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna grab some more wood because it looks like we're gonna need more fence. Unfortunately, where is that? Oh, it's always it's probably yeah the last chest uh, the first chest I checked. There we go. Um, so let's go ahead and, and no, we're not going to make all of it, but we'll make quite a bit. Now let's go ahead and make a little bit more fence here. Uh, that should make enough. And then we're going to use the, the planks as well. So that's good that we have some extra. And there we go. Now we have 34. And there we go. Okay, and we should be able to check up on the slag iron, which we're turning into iron plates. Now those iron plates can be turned into gears, just like this uh i believe we only need to make another set of 16 i don't think we're gonna need another 32 but uh we will probably have use for this iron plate further down the road so i'm not too worried about our, our uh, overuse of that now let's go back upstairs and we'll finish off the uh the windmill here we'll, we'll have to put that other support structure down here in a second but let's go ahead and make a, a i guess a nice staircase at this point because we have a little bit more wood um that should be fine because then we can just jump up here and jump up here nice now, all I want to do is I just want to outline this, and we'll leave that one open for, for our getting up and, and, and departing as well, uh, or those two open there, because that looks kind of nice. And now what we're going to add is we're going to take our windmill block, and this will be our base block. So what we're going to want to do is run this guy 
right about here. And then we're gonna wanna take one gearbox and shift, right click it here. Now this gearbox, uh, well first, I, I guess before we do any of that, we're gonna need to clear out this post because this post's kinda in the way. Um, Looks like we're not getting that back. Uh, let's go ahead and push this out a little bit because I was I was incorrect when I made this, and there we go, just like that. Now, like I was saying, the gearbox, uh, or this is the windmill, and this is the gearbox. Now, the windmill obviously needs a center structure, so we're going to use torque shafts for that, and I'm going to do this by shift jumping, right? So we'll do this a few times. Uh, I believe five will be good, but let's go six just in case. Ow, it's okay. Uh, and then let's go ahead and take our wool and we will uh, go ahead and build ourselves a little windmill structure. Now, if you don't know, the windmill I am creating is a little bit of a different one. You're probably thinking of the uh, the the other fashion of windmills, I, I could say, I guess. Um, but what I'm building, yes, is, is, is gonna be a little bit different. We do not want that there. That is not how we want that. Uh, this will be fine. And then, so we're gonna do this on each side, just like this. Um, and depending on how high the windmill is, the more torque you will have from from the uh, from the wind. But I think this height will do well. We don't really need a ton of torque coming through, uh, thankfully. And let's go ahead and uh, this this fence is just going to keep getting in the way. I have that feeling. Um, there we go. And then there we go. And we'll just place down this, that, and follow it on down right here. And now, finally, let's add fence for kind of decoration, kind of, kind of, I think it would look yeah, a lot better with this. So there we go. Now, I like I was saying, I know that this looks a little bit weird, but the idea is, is that no matter which way the wind blows, it should spin the windmill. It should spin the windmill. Why do I keep saying windmill? It should spin the windmill. I apologize because spin and, and mill uh, is, is I don't know that sounded weird. Anyway, so yeah, now we have now we have our windmill. Hopefully, is powering correctly uh, with our windmill block. Let's go ahead and set this guy back down because that's not super important. Now this is our windmill, uh, and now that we have this, our gearbox needs to be accepting power. Now, in order to have a power accepted into a gearbox, we have to first determine which way the power is coming from. So we right click it and the UI shows north, south, east, west, up, down. So we need power to come from because you can see on our on our map in the top right corner, that's the north. So we need our power to come from the west. So let's go ahead and drop a gear into the power to the west. Boom, so now we're getting power in. Now we're gonna wanna drive a shaft down from under it. That's why we left the hole under this block. So let's go and put power in the down one. Now let's go ahead and come under the windmill here. And hopefully we'll be able to place torque shafts once again. Uh, I'm gonna jump and shift and right click so that we can go ahead and do that. Now I'm gonna run these guys all the way down to this level. Like that. Now we're gonna need another gearbox to change its direction. Uh, two more times, actually. We're gonna need two gearboxes. It's okay. We have plenty of gearboxes. Uh, actually, no. I'm wrong. We we only need three. Uh, so anyway, did I say three? I don't know. I'll show you. Okay. So basically, now that power is because remember we said to send it down is coming down here. So we're gonna need something to move the power again. So boom. We'll put this gearbox here. Very very cool. Now we'll go ahead and add. Uh, the up one because remember we got power coming from the top and now we're gonna need to add power to two blocks here and here so we're gonna want to add boom this one here and boom that one there very awesome now so we have power going to from the top so it's coming in from the top now we need power transferred here so that's traveling north so let's go ahead and drop a gear in the north section once again remember because north is facing that way and we needed to go north one more time so north again now the two there's going to be two more blocks we're going to place and they're going to be inside and facing this way so that way would be east so let's go ahead and drop a gear in each east one here and here nice why isn't there a north one in here? Didn't I say drop a north one in there? North, north, north. Okay, so I skipped this one. Yeah, it's supposed to have north in there. Uh, let's go ahead and run inside really quick right after we repair this and make it look a little bit better. 
uh, down, down, right, like that, and then one, two, two here, and then one into the house. There we go. Now that's a little bit more balanced. Now you can see we have our windmill up. Um, hopefully, hopefully pushing a little bit of torque. Uh, like I said, it depends on the height. So I don't know if our if our altitude is high enough to give us enough torque. But let's uh, here's the hope and right. Uh, now we're gonna use the final two blocks that we have, uh, this block and this block. Now there's a reason I lined it up exactly here. I guess we could have just dug through, but that's all right. I wanted to show it from this side. We have the bellow blocks. Now bellow blocks. Uh, I'll go ahead and read the description to you. The block requires one torque to run and will gain no benefit from having more. It will also have an animation if it is working, uh, and very broken locking animation if it has more than zero but less than one. The basic use for this block is to increase the heat of the furnace or smelter and the airflow of the cooling racks. Basically those blocks will gain cooking speed, quote unquote, which will decrease how much fuel you will need. Each bellows will make the block it is used on one quarter faster. To use these you will need to place them next to the block you want to speed up and they need to be facing towards the block uh, when the block is placed you face it towards okay so basically we need them to be pushing so if you didn't understand that basically by adding this what we've done today uh, we will speed up or, or make our cooling racks more efficient and our smeltery a little bit uh, more efficient as well so we need to add these blocks now you'll see when I shift right click uh, hopefully actually you know what we should do we should probably move these and make sure that these are facing the right way first uh, we'll take everything out it's not a big deal um, so yeah see that see how that's not facing the right way right now uh, we're not getting any power to it, right? So let's go ahead and get this to face the correct way. I'm not sure. There we go. That is the way it is supposed to be facing. But it looks like uh, we do not have enough torque coming through. Or we have something wrong with our gears. So we have power coming from up. And we have power going to the north. We have power coming from the south. That's where we're wrong. We're sending power to the north, but we're not receiving it from the south. So we need to receive power from the south, and then we need to send power to the north and the east. So let's do that on this one as well. Receive power from the south, and we don't need to send power to the north because there's no more blocks to the north. Now let's go ahead and check this this time. Huh, th they seem to not be working still. Let me go ahead and sleep, and I will fix this right away. Okay, so I think I figured out what the problem was. It turns out that I think we need to make an exact windmill, a very specific one uh, with specific layouts. Now, there are two layouts for the standing up windmill that I had just created. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and recreate exactly what that is. Uh, I will be back with you guys once I do that. All right, and there we are. I went ahead and just basically duplicated exactly what I saw on the mod page. Uh, this is one of the windmills. You can also have another windmill uh, variant. Obviously, there are the ones that uh, are bladed windmills that are the large ones, and then there's these ones, and there's two versions of the upright windmills that you can make. Now, let's go ahead and check our torque here. Uh, it looks like 4.5, which is a lot better than the 0, 0.0 we were getting before. So why don't we go ahead and recalibrate this gearbox because it got messed up when I had to pick it up and move it. Uh, remember, we need to send power down and receive power from the west. Now let's go ahead and see if our blowers are working right now. What are they called? I don't believe they're called blowers, right? What are they called? Um, our, yeah, bellows. And there we go. You can see our bellows are pumping away now with their power. So I'll explain the system just one more time just so you guys have it. We have that gearbox feed or that windmill feeding into a gearbox. The gearbox goes down the torque shaft and then into this gearbox. This gearbox sends power to this one, which sends power to that bellow bellow as well as this gearbox and then this gearbox only sends power to that bellow now let's go ahead and re re uh, place down our smelter boom and our cooling racks there we go now these guys should be a lot more efficient when we use them in the future uh, just just for a test I guess we could run this slag iron through um, without this guy laid down and then with him laid down so let's go ahead and pick up this bellow and we'll run one piece of slag iron through let's watch it uh, we'll also fill up our bucket while we wait uh, because we'll, we'll, we'll be able to tell the time right so there we go that's with that's with uh, without a bellow so that was the time without a bellow and now let's go ahead and add another water bucket just in case and we'll set down this bellow again 
Make sure it's facing the right direction by checking it over on this side. Yes, it is. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and try it with this iron. So it's not a whole lot faster, but it looks like it's using the water more efficiently or the steam more efficiently. Let's just double check that this guy's running. Yeah, he is. Awesome. Great. So yeah, so now we have a much more efficient uh, Codemaster Pirates working systems, which are very, very nice to have in our place. There is one more thing, though, that I really wanted to show you guys, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to show it. Uh, let me go ahead and check everything and make sure that we have the materials for it before I go ahead and get your hopes up. So I went ahead and ran more rope through the system. Unfortunately, ooh, I was wrong. I was going to say, of course, we don't have enough rope, but I didn't see this one down in the right-hand corner. Uh, we do have enough rope then. We should have just about everything else. So let's go ahead and go into our crafting station here, and we will put two iron on the bottom. We need a gear here and a gear here, a rope on either side like that, and then one block right in the middle. Now, this one is going to be a little bit weird, All right, so uh, you're just going to have to bear with me here. But uh, we have two gearboxes. Now, that should be enough to work with here. Um, if we go ahead and go outside and check our... Ooh, it's getting dark. It's okay. Let's work quick then, right? Uh, actually, we need to go upstairs and go outside, so why don't we go ahead and sleep then? There we go. Nice and well slept. Now, let's go outside in the back and look at our system one more time. Now, remember this is receiving power here like that. Yes, that'll be fine. Um, we need to run power across this board here um, to right about, where's, where's a good area to go? Um, right about here is actually really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll do here. And hopefully this will work correctly. Now, we need to have... A shaft running all the way along this so I guess we can just replace all of this with with this main shaft here okay so I ruined some of our farm by doing that that's on me I'll fix it off screen don't worry you guys um, but we're just gonna keep running this guy all the way over to here and then we're gonna want to run a gearbox here here and then we're gonna have like I said a gearbox here and then we're going to want to run this guy right to get rid of these, right? And then we'll boom. Nope, that's wrong. I apologize. Like that, 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 and that. And then we need a final gearbox, hopefully just under here. Um, and we will calibrate all of these. So this one needs just to receive power from the up way with our gear. Um, and then we can also lay down this now that now that that's ready. We need this one calibrated to receive power from the north and send power down. So from the north and then send power down. Nice. Now I think we just need one more that is right upstairs. And then we should be ready to go on this final part. Uh, come outside here. And right around the corner here and this gearbox needs to send power now to the south as well uh, so let's go ahead and throw a gear right in here now this hopefully will work this is this is all set up correctly um, let's go ahead and close back up these I don't think we're, we're gonna be able to close up um, these two so we're gonna have to close it like this and like Hup, there we go like that and there we go now let's go ahead and, and head our way down now you'll watch when I right click this okay so I missed one gear now I know that this is getting a little bit tedious and like you're like oh well this is this seems so resource intensive it really isn't it's just a uh, little oversights that you need to check your system for but once it's all set up it, it's pretty cool uh, so let's go ahead and add this here and remember we need to add power to the east now because that's what we're trying to power which is this guy right here and now let's go ahead and right click it you'll see pretty cool right so i get brought up pretty high uh, it will actually bring me up i think one too high if uh if i don't do it correctly because i think it wants to keep sending me up along this line so we're gonna have to work on that at least so we don't take any damage hold on what if i push this and then what is it gonna do now 
Why does it keep doing that? No, I'm gonna die. Okay, uh, it keeps pushing me up for some reason. This is really interesting. I want to go back down there, but I don't want to die. One more time for science. Okay, so it breaks after this block. Gotcha. And then it, it goes it goes up a little bit higher. So we'll just go ahead and uh, peak our roof a little bit higher than that. So here. And then like this, so that we don't we don't get hurt every time we go in this elevator. Actually, these guys don't really need to be pushed out like this one. So we'll go ahead and fill this up just like that. And now let's go ahead and give it one more test run uh, before we we die. Uh, so yeah, you just right click it, and it's an elevator, and it will bring you up. And then you have to walk in the direction you want to come off on. But I thought it would be pretty cool to have this right by our back door because then we can just walk inside. And instead of having to run all the way over there, climb up the ladder, turn around and do something, we can just come in here, turn to our right, right click this from wind power, and walk right off onto our upstairs area. So yes, that is the new additions to Codemasters Pirates. I'm sure there is a lot of stuff that I have not uh, covered in the update. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is actually now that I think about it. So look forward to that in the next coming up episodes. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, remember to hit that uh, subscribe button. Oh, and I didn't say, uh, you can also power the spinning wheel now with a gearbox. So we may want to look into doing that as well. And if you guys don't know, I am a live streamer on Twitch. I, I Twitch live stream quite a bit. So uh, if you guys want to want to catch me live, go ahead and head over there and you will see me um, doing my thing and we can talk and, and interact. It's actually a lot of fun. Uh, I'll see you guys later and have a great day.